as you can probably already guess, we are playing Mega Man Battle Network 2 on Retro Boys today. You get to play as Land Hikari and Mega Man, a computer program. When you jack into the virtual world with the right but shoulder button, you end up playing as Mega Man in this virtual world. This is where the majority of the gameplay takes place and you run into battles, randomly generated battles, and you fight monster, monsters, which are the computer viruses, or older Mega Man enemies that you'll see in the game. One example of the different types of enemies are these cannons. When they shoot, when you stand in front of them and they shoot, you have to dodge the lock-on device, because if they lock on, they will shoot you, but you can still dodge this, the shot that they actually do because it has a little bit of delay. It is very well thought of with all, all of the enemies and we have a couple battles here showcasing that. One thing you should note is the buster level and the delete time. And whenever you hit A, you'll see what your reward is. The faster you do it, the better reward. The slower you do it, the slower reward. These are some classic Mega Man enemies right here, and what we are doing is called a program advance. When you match three chips of the same type in order, you get an advance. And you'll get a more powerful weapon, like a Z Cannon 1, which is what I'm using right now. There are many different program advances in the game. You have to figure them out for yourself. They will save your skin. Also, you can get roll and Guts Man and many other navvies is what Mega Man is considered and you can use that within battle to heal yourself it for roll at least as you see here I took 30 damage and I got healed for 30 now these enemies here are rather tricky but they're actually quite fun to fight against in the early parts of the game they jump around and they will shoot you and when they hit you you get paralyzed and as you see the buster time was 13 seconds which is a low level 4 and I only got 80s in now we got a nice little mixture of the two different enemies now with what you want to do is you want to get as many chips as you can out at a time so if they're the same chip you can match them together you get to get you get to move into little hub areas when you're in the cyber world as well as the real world this area that I am in right now is the main area you start with. Now, you have different things you can do in here. As you can see, I am talking to multiple NPCs, and then right down here you have shops as well. Here is where you increase your HP and get different battleships. You can get sub chip or subfolder stuff, which is like energies, unlocks. And then down here you have the message boards, is where you find out hints and just get into the world itself of the game. Now when you're in here you can go to different areas as well as jacking out of the game. But what I'm showing you right now is how the gameplay works. You can run around this area which they have paths laid out. And it resembles like computer chips, the wires that connect with them. And then as you run so much, you run into battles like I showed you earlier. This battle in particular is one that I wanted to talk to you about because as you see the field in the past couple battles I showed you is a 3x3 square. You get three squares or 3x3 three three square, they get 3x3 three three square. Now you can take over a square, they can take over a square. As in, you'll, when you take over squares, it'll be the front row, the middle row, or the back row. The, and you have to go in that order. You have to take over the front, to take over the middle, to take over the back. Now, there is a chip to do that with, but here's one thing to note. The enemy that we're fighting right now jumps, slams the ground, and it, as you stand on it, as soon as you move back, it will break. And one other thing, good thing to note, which I forgot I did this in the video just so I could talk to you about it. You can pause the game when in combat. 
That is very important, especially since this is a handheld game. But as you see, I moved off that platform, and it broke. Now, if I would stand there when this thing jumps down, it would actually fall through it. But I just wanted to pr show you the point that if you have certain enemies that crack the ground, like Gutsman does it, you can move over to crack it so there's holes there so people can say shoot a shockwave over it it'll just go into the hole or the ones that fall down if you stand on the crack field and then they fall you will have them fall through it it's a lot of a lot more tactical battles instead of how you're used to it with the regular Mega Man games this game did get some heat or the series got some heat whenever it first came out because of that because it wasn't classic Mega Man but as you see here, we now are running around as land in the real world. Cool thing is you can go into most of these houses. This is your friend's house. And then you have sub-dealers that are out here you can buy stuff with. The idea is Mega Man is on a device that's like your cell phone. And you have a computer as well, but you plug it into the computer. And here, you get to fight net battles. And if you say yes, and you just like recently beat them, they are going to make their Navi a little bit stronger. Now we're going to the last friend's house, which is with the guy that is a helicopter. But on the way, we're going to go by Higsby's. This is the store after so far in the game, you can buy chips from. And it's, it's a pretty cool place to go into to just get your stuff, because if you have one chip that you're missing, most likely you can find it there unless it's a really rare chip. Now, you can talk to all the NPCs out in the main world. This is your last friend's house, and she is the richest of the group of friends. Alright, since we got all of the, who the characters are, let's talk about what the controls are. Now, first off, the Game Boy Advance, you have very, very simple buttons. You have the D-pad, the start, the select, the B, the A, and the shoulder buttons. So first off, how to walk. If you just want to walk slow, you just use the D-pad. If you want to run using his rollerblades that he always has on for some reason, you hold down the B button and you'll take off going faster. Now A is the button you use to talk to everybody, but it say you want to save the game real quick, what do you do? Well, you stop running, you hit start, and you go down to save save your game that easy one thing I do want to show really quickly are the folders right now I only have one but as you see here I have a, a the basic stuff in here I will say I won't say I have a lot but I got the basic so I'm gonna show you how to edit this you just find one you want to pick hit a hit to the right on the d-pad and you just go down until you find something you like and we are going to grab panel grab this will steal one, let me see if I have area grab real quick, yeah here we go. Area grab will steal three squares, and it steals it from the left edge from the enemy. So it'll take the first area you have, and it'll be for a short period of time. And then you just back out, and you're good to go. So you want to jack into something, well, you just walk up to something, like this doghouse. It's a security system, so it lets you jack in. You just hit R, and you'll jack in. Now, say you want to know what you're supposed to do. Well, you hit L, and that'll give you the hint. And when in here, you'll have programs you can talk to, or you can run around and see if there's any treasure in here, which I don't believe there is because I got them all. But here we have Gutsman, and I actually want to show that to you because this will explain the crack system that I was talking about earlier. You hit pick it with A, and then you press, uh, go to start start the battle, then you hit OK. Now, if these creatures were, oh, actually, they're still doing it. So, as you see here, they go over okay, the blocks, and as you see, the one in the back keeps trying to dash forward and get stopped by the one in front of them. But another thing to note about oh, this electric sword. And we got a motorcycle going through. Yay! I'm leaving that in there. 
as you see at the top, the custom bar, that fills over time, and that's how you get your new battle chips. It's, I only picked it one last time, and to open it up, you just hit L or R. But you can get multiple chip sets, or multiple things, as you see here. Now you can put them back using B, but one thing to note is how it has the letters on there. You can only pick up one of... If you say, I picked the longsword, I can't pick anything else up because they don't have L. But if you have two of the same kind, like I showed you earlier with the program Advance, I can pick three cannons up if they're the same type of thing but different letters. So if I have three cannons, A, B, and C, I can pick them up. If I have, say, three long swords, all different letters, I can pick them up. But if I have, say, sword, wide sword, and long sword, and they're all S, that would be another program advance, but they all have to be S. I can't, say, pick them up if one's S and one's, say, J, and the other one's L. So we're going to pick a long sword. The only thing you can do with this is actually pick this attack plus 10 up because it is an asterisk. Asterix usually boost whatever it is you're doing, and this one will increase my attack by 10. And we're gonna wait for that thing, and you just do it. It's ti very timing based, as well as strategy based. You have to learn what the enemies do in order to know how to counter them. And here we have finally the area grab, which is what I wanted to show you. We're going to do area grab and then sword. Now, area grab, as soon as I do this, you'll see with that first row will get taken over. But there's an enemy there, so what happens is it damages that enemy, so I can't hurt him, hurt the enemy. And then you just keep dodging everything as you attack. That is the main thing. Now the story behind the game is you were in a time of peace because Land just defeated WWW organization that had the widely liked character in it. And another organization comes up and you get swept along this adventure of trying to stop them. That's mainly how most of the Battle Network games go, but it's still pretty neat. And we're actually going to go show you a new area. This is going to be the last thing I show you on this because I have not beaten this game a second time. I've beaten it once and erased my file to start over again. So we have three areas to go where. We're going to go to the Marine and you just walk in here and we're at the Marina. And here, let's see if I can find the TV reporter. There she is. This is what I wanted to show. Oh, crap. Wrong button. This is what I wanted to show you. This is one of the boss battles. And this is one of the harder ones. Because this boss is just annoying. Because it shoots these music notes that will stun you. And you have to dodge them. So what I'm going to... Ooh, like that. I got stunned by it. And it's best to stay up front if you have quick enough reaction time like I don't. And the lily pads shoot out little tadpoles. Yeah, we're going to use Guts Man here. And the little tadpoles can also hit you as well. And I just did that as soon as they weren't there. And you'll probably see me lose this because, let's be honest, I am very bad at fighting this boss. I think this is one of the only bosses that I have trouble beating really besides at the end. The final boss is pretty tricky to me. Let's see if we can pull it off though. Alright. 
we have area grab. But I can't use anything else because my wide sword or my electric sword is an R, not a S. So here's what I'm gonna do. You can select an item and you go down to A. The next time you end up fighting, you end up you kind of dodge that and you miss and you get an extra item. Which I'm very happy that is that. I get my recovery pin. I get to pause on my now. I just gotta stay alive. That's the trick. We're both hurt pretty decently, and let's see. This and this. We're in an area grab, and we're gonna hope we hit with this. And I didn't. So, oh crap. That's not good. And I beat it. I almost lost that, but... Yeah! But, you know, you get little things like this, and when you beat them, you get different items. Most of the time, you end up getting the chip for their navy, or the code for the computer to get onto the main net. There are many friends that you can get their navvies for in this game as well as the other ones. There are six of these games total I believe, with some of them having two versions as well. So with that being said, I highly recommend getting this game to try to play it. I am hopefully going to be able to, you know, live stream this at some point when I feel like I know, understand enough what's going on. Right now I'm not doing it because I'm kind of stuck in the game. But that's the other thing to note, this game has amazing puzzles. There is a lot of them. But at the same time, that draws people away. So don't forget to like, favorite, share, and comment. And peace out, everybody.